Hi, first grade students. I am so sorry that I can't be in our normal Teams meeting today. I had a meeting for school that I had to do and the weather day kind of messed up getting me a sub and so you're doing your art lesson on your own. I hope that's going okay. Thank you so much to all the grown-ups that are helping make this work today. Um, I tried to make everything on my Canvas page as easy to understand as possible. So there's some little pictures for when you need to watch a video. There's some eyeballs for when I just want you to look at some pictures. And then a picture of someone drawing for when it's time for you to draw. Basically, we're doing two artworks today. We're thinking about the sky. We're going to be making the sky part of our hot air balloon artwork. Tomorrow, when I see you in our normal meeting, we'll put it all together. So... The first thing you're working on is making big, white, fluffy clouds. There's a video on my Canvas page that's all about the science behind clouds. Hopefully you've already watched that because now it's time for us to make some clouds. So it's helpful if we have some paper that is not white for making our cloud pictures since white since clouds are white. Um, I actually don't have colored paper at my house today. I'm having to make do because of the weather day. So I have a brown bag and I already drew on one side of it. So I just tore it open. So now I've got some colored paper to work with. Um, you might have some chalks that I sent with you in the art kit. They were in like a little clear plastic container and they might be kind of square shaped. You should have a white chalk and maybe some other colors of chalk. If you don't, then we can make do with crayons. I could use a white crayon. So what I want you to think about for making clouds is we're either gonna start by drawing a cloud shape. Maybe I'm drawing like a big fluffy shape. Sorry, I'm trying to do this with my camera. It's a little hard to see with the crayon, but I could color that in. I wanna teach you guys a little bit about chalk though, since that's something we would normally do if we were back at Beaumont. I can hold my chalk just like I hold a crayon and I can draw a cloud shape. But I want you to think about how clouds are colored in. So I can use my chalk to color it in. But I also want to show you guys that we can lay the chalk on its side and kind of rub it back and forth to fill in shapes like the cloud. We also can use our fingers to move that chalk around. So I don't even have to draw an outline. I can just kind of rub the chalk to get a fuzzy cloud shape. And that's kind of nice because if you watch the science video, you know that clouds are made of things like vapor and air and they're kind of like fog and they're a little bit see-through. So the chalk really does nice, but if all you have is something like crayons, that works too. So that's our first drawing. We're gonna try to do those white fluffy clouds on our big blue piece of paper, if you have that from your art kit, because that'll be big enough for our hot air balloon. If you don't have that, use whatever you have. The main goal is to learn a little bit about clouds and practice making them. Okay, that's our first drawing. Our second activity for today is to think about how sometimes the sky is not blue with big white fluffy clouds. Sometimes it's stormy, sometimes it's sunrise, sometimes it's sunset. So if you go a little further down on my Canvas page, you'll see a link to watch a video. That video is a read aloud of a book called Sky Color, all about a little girl who has to make a sky picture and she doesn't have normal sky colors. So she notices how the sky is sometimes all different colors. So watch that to get some ideas. There are some pictures of different kinds of skies to look at and then a drawing prompt to try out making some different colored skies. And again, if you've got the chalks, this is a great chance to explore things like color blending with chalk. So maybe I'm coloring some pink here and then maybe I'm gonna color some purple and I can use my fingers to blend those colors. And if you don't have the chalk, then you can just try your crayons to do some beautiful sky colors. Just remember the chalk can get pretty messy. So check with a grown up first to make sure it's okay. Maybe have baby wipes or a wet paper towel nearby to wipe your hands on. Push up those sleeves if you're using chalk because otherwise your arm will go right across it. And chalk can be easy to get out in the wash, but if you're using really dark colors or you get a lot of it on you, it's pretty messy stuff. So let's be careful. Have a great day. Make some beautiful sky pictures for me. And you don't have to take pictures or anything because you'll show them to me tomorrow when we have our normal class meeting. Bye guys.